In this lesson, I'll be using variables to perform arithmetic calculations. Now, in the previous lesson, we learned uh, how we can use variables in a C program. Now, in this program, we'll be using several variables to perform basic arithmetic operations such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Now, first of all, we'll declare some variables. So, I'll put a comment here. Declare some variables and then the variables first of all mangoes int apple now all these are integer type variables bananas and pineapple So you can see I declared four variables, mangoes, apples, bananas, and pineapples. Now make sure all these are valid variable names. All the names must start with a character. It should be a letter, not a number. And also you cannot use spaces in a variable name. Now you can see all these are single words. You cannot use spaces when you're declaring variables after the variable declarations uh, we need to assign values to these variables so first of all i'll take the mangoes and i'll use the assignment operator and assign a value value 10 and for apples again i'll assign a value now make sure all these statements has to be terminated using the semicolon then the bananas finally pineapples so you can see we declared variables and then we assigned variables so this uh, assignment process is called the variable initialization now I can use maybe printf function to print the values of these variables. First of all, for example, I'll use printf and put there are, I use uh, this placeholder, percent %d and then apples. So the second argument has to be the, the variable apples, like this. Now we'll save the file and compile this. So I'm inside the folder. I use bcc32 and the name of the file is calculations.c. And you can see the compilation is done properly. And there are some warnings you can see here these warnings because that these three variables we declared and assigned values but those variables have never been used in the program so that's why you see these warnings uh, actually we can ignore these warnings now we can execute the file calculations so you can see we get the output there are five apples now we'll try to use basic arithmetic operators and perform some arithmetic operations using these variables. Now to do this, I'll create another variable called total. You can see the total, it is a integer type variable. And then I use this total, I'll create a comment first, total number of apples and mangoes so we need to add both apples and mangoes here so the total variable is assigned total equals apples plus mangoes now the plus sign here is the arithmetic operator and this is called the addition operator so now what i can do actually this has to be placed 
beneath this statement so I'll paste it here you can see the total equals apples plus mangoes then I'll use the print a function to print the total so there are total of or we can say there are we'll use the placeholder apples and mangoes so we can use the total variable as the second argument so now you can see we add apples to mangoes and assign that value to the total so we print the value of total in this statement we save the file and we'll go to the command prompt and compile it again and then run it and you can see there are five apples and there are 15 apples and mangoes so this has to be the new line so I'll use the new line character slash in here so you can see at the beginning we have the new line character so now I save the file and compile it again and run so I have this statement printed in a new line next we'll perform a subtraction operation how many more bananas than mangoes so we have uh, 10 mangoes and we have 20 bananas so how many more bananas so we need to subtract mangoes from bananas so then we can calculate how many more bananas are there so this is what uh, I do in the line number 27 I assign a new value to the variable total so that will be bananas minus mangoes because we need to calculate how many more bananas are there so we need to subtract mangoes from bananas and then we print the total here you must understand here that uh, look at the line number 21st and 27 in both statements I assign values to the variable total now the values of variables can be changed anytime in the program so you can see here in the line number 21st I assign this value the total of this to the total variable and here in the line number 27 I assign a different value to the total variable so like that in a program you can assign different values to the same variable now we'll compile this and see so the file is saved I'm going to compile it again and this time you can see there are 10 more bananas than mangoes finally in the program we need to perform multiplication and division operations now you can see here there are two scenarios one is there are five boxes of apples in each box there are 10 apples how many apples are there in total now to calculate this total number of apples we need to create this arithmetic calculation we assign a new value to the total variable which is uh, the apples into 5 now this asterisk is the multiplication operator when we want to perform multiplication we can use this asterisk as the multiplication operator now here it says in each box there are 10 apples now initially we assigned 5 to apples so we need to change it here so what I do I assign a new value to apples which is 10 and then I perform the operation using the multiplication operator and then I print it using the printf statement you can see in the printf statement I pass these two arguments the second and third arguments these are the values that will replace these two placeholders so make sure these uh, two arguments are placed in order then to perform the division operations I have uh, this scenario you need to put all bananas in bags each bag must have two bananas how many bags are needed to perform this calculation we use this statement 
and in the statement you can see to perform the division operations I use this forward slash using the forward slash you can perform division operations in C programs now in both the multiplication and division operations you can see I used parentheses in this statement here also I used parentheses now sometimes when you perform arithmetic calculations in a statement it is perfectly acceptable to use these parentheses the parentheses will group these uh, entities together sometimes it is uh, necessary to use uh, parentheses in a arithmetic calculation but in these two examples it is not essential to use these parentheses without parentheses uh, you can perfectly perform these uh, two calculations without any issue but uh, just to indicate that uh, the parentheses can be used even in a simple calculation like this I place these parentheses in these two statements so now we save the file and then compile it and see how the output comes first we'll compile the file you can see still we have this warning uh, about the pineapples because still we did not use the pineapples variable in any of these uh, statements now we run the program so you can see we have these two statements at the end we have there are total of 50 apples in five boxes and how many bags are needed 10 so this is how we perform basic arithmetic operations in a C program now in the future when we create many sample codes and sample projects we will have to use these arithmetic operations in programs I hope you understood the basic concepts about the arithmetic operations in C program thank you for watching the video